like Mondays, let's go take a break. That's better. Apart from all the noise, of course, because we live next to a very busy street and there's lots of dogs and people working uh, on their construction projects, as you can hear. But I received a comment last week that, apparently, I don't look at the camera enough while I'm talking to you guys. So, I'm going to do this. Now I will speak to you like this for the whole video. How is that? The reason I'm actually doing this vlog today is I want to share a little hack with you uh, which I discovered uh, or came up with last week when I was uh, doing a bit of vlogging the old vlog and it implies using your phone as an external front-facing screen for your GoPro. This hack will cost you a maximum of one dollar, one pound, one euro and if you have these things lying around already it will be completely free but it gives you so much so much versatility with a setup like this. This is what you'll see when you first... Right? Pretty cool, huh? So this is the GoPro app. So what do you think about that? That is YouTube... YouTubeception right there. What I have here is a, a very cheap, so it's the cheapest flexible tripod that I could find online. And it helps me to do things like this. Right? The GoPro, of course, and um, some quick release, places, quick release plates, which if you're into filmmaking, you really should have one of these or a couple. So what we're going to do here is, of course, we're going to take off the, uh, the phone we'll quickly, put that to one side. Wow, I like these how-to videos. They're really cool, aren't they? First of all, let's break it down. We have the quick release plate. Take that off. So this is the tripod with the uh, the other side of the quick release system, which is this with the trigger and everything. Put that down for the moment. And now we're left with this. We're left with the quick release plate, right? Quick release plate, uh, an L bracket or an L joint, whatever you, you call it, wherever you're from. And this is something like a 50 pence, 50 cents um, phone holder. I think I have this off an, uh, an old um, selfie stick. So you must have one of these lying around. If not, buy one from a dollar shop or something. They're really cheap, like half a dollar or something. And um, a bolt in there with some washers. Let me take everything apart and I'll put it back together on camera so you can get an idea of how easy it is to make something like this. So, bolt is out. Here's the, uh, the phone holder. Now, this is how I made it work for my system. But basically, if you have something that holds your camera, you can find a place to attach an L bracket like this and you should be fine. So let me undo this really quickly. Make sure I'm in frame. There's one issue with the 6D that's filming us now is You've guessed it, no front face, no front facing screen and no camera app to actually see yourself while you're filming, which sucks. So here we are, the basic components, the GoPro, this little mount, which comes with every GoPro and it has a quarter inch fitting, I think, for a quarter inch screw there. We're starting with the quick release system here. This is how it works. You've got the bottom plate and you've got the top plate. Make sure you put it in the right way. Boom, it snaps into place. So what I thought I'd do is I'd take this off because I use multiple tripods. I have the same quick release system uh, on, on all of my um, uh, tripods and camera rigs and things like that. So I thought if I put it on this, it, I can only use it on this. But if I put it on this, then I can take it off this so this and this and this, but I can take it off this and put it on that, which is the tripod filming us or the camera which is filming us right now, which is on that tripod. So what I got is an L joint like this, All right? Very cheap. Everybody has these lying around at home. If not, they're a few cents each to get. Um, so they're used for furniture and um, DIY things around the house. You get one of these, Make sure you're lined up with the quick release plate, put it on there. 
Next thing you do, you take your GoPro mount and you screw it on. And if you can't screw it on anymore, don't force it. And just use the little key, the little key inside to make sure you're nice and tight. So now we have the first part done. Next thing, we take this uh, phone holder, which has two connection points. We're gonna be using this one on the back there. And we're gonna use this hole. So it's very important that you find yourself some L joints which have multiple holes uh, for screws and things, and then you can connect it to which way you like. Now, the phone holder, I decided to actually use this way around. I had it this way around the first time, and I found that it was very difficult to actually pull up and get the phone out. And it doesn't really matter anyway, because you can, with this system, my patented system, you can actually twist it around and turn it uh, vertically, horizontally, and all the way 360 around and have it which way you want it. But we're gonna put it this way around, so with the springy thing towards the bottom. Line it up with the holes, right there. Then we're gonna take the bolt. So use a short bolt, you don't want to puncture your phone or anything. And because I couldn't find the right length, this is still too, too long, I'm gonna use a couple of washers. So these are peanuts, they're negligible in price terms. So we're gonna take these, we're gonna place them over the hole, just like that, and take the bolt, put it through the hole, grab a screwdriver, everybody should have a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver in this case, and tighten, there we go. How long did that take? Not very long. Now, as you can see, if you don't tighten it too much, you can fiddle it about horizontally, vertically, and 360. So let's put it this way, because this is the way we want it. Now grab our little tripod, or selfie stick, or whatever you use for vlogging. Put it on there, boom, there we go. Now we have, make sure this is nice and tight. There we go, and I can adjust it to different positions. Of course, you're gonna have a limit to how much you can actually tilt it, but it works for me. And remember that the GoPro also tilts. So that's another thing you can keep in mind. Then we're gonna grab our little phone here, which is an old iPhone 7. You need to upgrade Marius, stop buying useless things. Stick that on there, boom. You have yourself so basically, we, we recreated a selfie stick from scratch. But the, uh, the, the important thing here is that we have a good camera on top, right? So the GoPro is, is really good at stabilizing. It does really nice wide shots and everything else that a GoPro can do, right? Even films in 4K, 120 FPS at um, 2.7K and all that. We'll get into it in a future video maybe when I uh, review the GoPro if you want me to. So. Here we go, we have a vlogging setup. Now I can walk around with this, not looking stupid at all, and just go around, see myself, see everything else, and if I want to, I can even turn the GoPro around. Let's see if this will work. Of course, you'll need to tighten this properly. Don't do it like this. But then I can walk around like this, and I can film my travel vlogs, I can go about my business, and have a ginormous screen. So as big as your phone is, you probably have giant screens compared to me, right? That's how big your preview screen will be. And the preview is not the best quality, so it's not full 4K or full HD or anything. But it's enough to get you where you need to be in terms of framing and in terms of um, colors, so white balance and uh, exposure and stabilization, make sure you're not you know, shaking because the GoPro has uh, three steps in uh, stabilization. So there's on, there's high, and then there's boost. And they don't always work the same way in all situations. So it's really important to have a giant screen like that. I don't know why they don't sell a kit like this. Maybe I am going to patent this. We'll see. But hey, Marius, why is it important to have a front-facing screen? on your GoPro. It's a GoPro. You're not meant to use it for vlogging. Well, actually, I want to tell you that this GoPro is fantastic for vlogging. It's actually really lightweight. If you don't want to stand out in public when you're talking to yourself, because that's what you're doing when you're vlogging, you're talking to yourself, it's very, very easy to use and very cheap. The GoPro is actually 
cheaper than the Canon M50, which is a very popular choice nowadays. So it's a really, really nice setup to, to get yourself started with vlogging and filmmaking and everything else. Something I tried to do last week was to use the GoPro for the entire video, which I posted on, uh, on Saturday, unfortunately, but which I posted on Saturday. And the entire video is shot with a GoPro. And I think it came out decent enough, right? So it's a very versatile little camera. You should use it. If you can't afford anything else to start off, use the GoPro. You've probably guessed it. It's a Monday, as I said, and I'm not very fit for work. But I should get back to work, shouldn't I? Otherwise, all my clients will see this video and they'll say like, you're wasting time, you're not working enough for us. Why do we pay you? You're making YouTube videos. I should get back to work and I'll see you Friday. Catch you later.